When looking to achieve an ideal fire rating, it is vital to understand what constitutes as a fully compliant product. For starters, you need to understand what AC23 stands for. In order for a product to be considered fully compliant, it must undergo a series of tests. So this would include flame spread tests and 16 different environmental tests. This is so it can be guaranteed that the product can withstand a variety of different conditions. Now that you understand what AC23 stands for, let's talk about ESL and ESR and how they relate to AC23. Let's first talk about what ESR is, or the Evaluation Service Report, which is provided by the ICC when the AC23 acceptance criteria is met by a material. And despite the two sounding similar, it's different than an evaluation service listing. These reports just provide additional data for a material as it applies to different substrates. But remember, you need the ESR to confirm that a product is fully compliant. In the past, you could reference that a product had an ESL and assume that it also had the ESR, but nowadays it's different. Now you can have the ESL before having an ESR. So it's always important to check and make sure that the product does have an ESR listed. To wrap things up, for a product to be fully compliant, it just needs an ESR rating. Thank you for watching, and as always, we are happy to be your trusted partner in fire safety.